Hey guys, welcome back to Maldonado's Exotic Animals. And today we have a little friend. Um, now we're not going to be keeping him sadly because I don't have enough room because this is the cage I have him in right now. And I know I really want to keep him but I can't. And I think it's a she because I looked at the bottom and it looks like a she. Now she scratched me up a lot. Now you all know that I posted a video earlier, I think two days ago, of me catching iguanas and stuff. So I'm going to tell you a story. My neighbors came over and told me that they have something, told me if they can come, if I can come and remove something from their front yard. But they didn't tell me what it was at first. And I was like, okay, I'm kind of happy because I don't, because I don't know if it's going to be something like very cool, something nice or anything like that. Then all I see is a, a bright orange iguana. And then I run over here, grab my noose, go over there. Noose, I noose the iguana. And what surprised me is it didn't dart when I noosed him. So what I did is I held the noose on tightly just in case he would dart. And I got him. Here he is. He's right there. He's pretty. Um, I'm guessing he's four feet long. He is definitely around there. There he is. He's about to dart. <laughs> there he is. Now this is... Um, I believe a female, like I said, but but the coloration makes it look like a male, so I can't be uncertain. And you see those two horns right there? Let's see if I can show you. There's two horns, and those horns indicate that this could be a rainforest um, locality. So I'm not exactly sure, but when I do take them to underground to go sell, I'm going to 